Welcome to Shanghai, the heart of innovation. I'm Chris from Rhino Tutorials. I'm here at the China International Industry Fair 2025, taking place at the National Exhibition and Convention Center, one of the largest exhibition complexes in the world. One thing I'm interested at the beginning is a coffee. I needed it before it to go to see it. The complex of buildings actually reminds a flower with four petals. Each one is a sector. You just can see behind me. And uh, probably is split it into certain technologies. <laughs> In this video, I'll be focusing especially on the technologies most uh, related, connected to the 3D design and modeling in Rhino. Uh, exploring actually how digital concepts turn into real industrial solutions. I quite don't understand why uh, people are very into humanoid um, designing. Why they want to prove that robot can be very similar to uh, to human and can do the same uh, job what human do. That's kind of something uh, out of my head. Robot will be robot, you know. That's called, that's that's only parts of the metal and plastic and servos. And, uh, but I guess it's just a fun uh, for companies to explore, to show technologies, to show what they do, to show that they can actually uh, do uh, nicely design humanoidal robot, but. Do they really functional, like we are? Do they ever be functional more than we are? Maybe at some AI point, yes, they will, but not with that construction. You see metal parts moving uh, in a specific way. Well, in a very unfunctional way. We'll never be doing what human does. The humanoidal designing robots which are also exhibited here, I think not many uh, changes. They all making this chilly work, like picking up stuff, uh, putting on a other, other place and so on. They're not very intelligent and uh, they probably will not be. But in terms of the uh, manufacturing processes, there are a lot of companies who are basically doing the same thing. Uh, five axis robots, and they are very helpful, of course. Uh, they are now cheaper, probably, because more companies are making them, uh, and, uh, and the manufacturing become uh, cheaper and cheaper. So that's what it's all about here.
One thing I have to admit, uh, in terms of the designing actually, in terms of the 3D designing, that uh, now there's those um, robotic uh, uh, solutions are nicely designed and as you see plastic foams and everything and metal parts are beautifully fitting to uh, uh, assembling beautifully uh, and on the China market. So the, the, the most important thing is that the quality of China products are now becoming a, a game changer for the global market. And there's a lot of solutions, a lot of nicely designed things, objects, which I wouldn't uh, be ashamed to have uh, in the future. So we'll see how it impacts the global market. Uh, but I see, I predict a huge changes in, uh, in it. Okay, in my, in my opinion, wins those two fellows here, Tesla and the Xiaomi. They really show the great job. I mean, Tesla is known by his uh, products, uh, but I'm very excited about me, which came out with new cars, which they look fantastic, and they are so full of technology inside. I love my, my Xiaomi products as well but here in the new uncover car industry. Great, well done.
This was a powerful showcase of intelligent manufacturing, from automation, uh, robotics, to low carbon innovation, with nine thematic shows under one roof at the NECC and thousands of global exhibitors, it's clear that the next decade of industry is being uh, shaped right here. Uh, from my perspective, designer, the biggest transformations are happening in sustainable urban economies, uh, automotive industry management, and above all, in process optimization. Uh, exhibitors weren't just showing uh, slides, they brought real robots for efficiency analytics and uh, green, uh, green transition. Uh, industrial robotics continues actually the, to focus on practical five axis uh, manipulators and processes optimized cells, especially critical for automotive. Social robotics, uh, on the other hand, might look nicer each year, but remains more of a PR attraction here than a real solution. Humanoids don't bring much value yet. Uh, though, as a product designer working in Rhino 3D, I do appreciate uh, the improvement forms, ergonomics and the design integration of all of those uh, humanoidal robotics. In short, uh, the fair was less hype, more substance. Smart factories, sustainable supply chains and concrete efficiency wins are leading the way. And that's where our work as designers truly connects uh, with the future of uh, industry. So um, this is it actually. Uh, I hope you like it. Subscribe if you like it. Uh, follow me. I'm going to post uh, more films, uh, videos like this. And see you next time. Bye.